Book Summary, Invent and Wander, The Collected Writings of Jeff Bezos by Jeff Bezos Invent and Wander, in year 2020, is a collection of writings and insights by Amazon's founder that encapsulates his professional journey and vision for progress and innovation. Through Jeff Bezos's annual shareholder letters, speeches, and interviews, the book explores his philosophy of continuous innovation and an obsession with customer satisfaction, and provides a roadmap for anyone interested in navigating the rapidly changing world of technology and business. Introduction Dive into the inner workings of Jeff Bezos' mind. Have you ever wondered what goes on behind the scenes of one of the world's most successful businesses? Or maybe you've wondered about the strategies and principles that propel a global giant like Amazon? Well, in this condensed blink, you're going to get an intimate look into Jeff Bezos' personal journey and the driving forces behind Amazon's astronomical success. You won't just uncover the secrets of Amazon's growth, you'll also delve into the broader mechanics of the business world. With these insights, you'll be better prepared to comprehend the complexities of large-scale business operations on your own. Key Takeaways Embrace Failure Bezos emphasizes the importance of taking risks and experimenting with new ideas, even if it means failing. He notes that failure is not the opposite of success, it's a stepping stone to success. Focus on the long term, Bezos advocates for a long term approach to business, emphasizing the importance of patience and perseverance in achieving success. Customer obsession, Bezos stresses the importance of prioritizing the customer's needs and desires, stating that customer obsession is a prerequisite for success. Invent and wander, Bezos encourages readers to embrace imagination and exploration, highlighting the importance of constantly seeking new ideas and exploring new frontiers. Leadership Principles Bezos outlines his leadership principles, including a focus on customer obsession, long-term thinking, and a willingness to embrace failure. Technology and Society Bezos discusses the impact of technology on society, highlighting the potential benefits and risks of emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence and machine learning. Space Exploration Bezos shares his vision for space exploration and the potential for humanity to become a multiplanetary species. Strengths Insightful and inspiring, Invent and Wander provides readers with a unique glimpse into the mind of one of the world's most successful entrepreneurs, offering inspiration and practical advice for anyone looking to build a successful career. Thought-provoking, the book challenges readers to think critically about the intersection of technology and society highlighting the potential risks and benefits of emerging technologies. Practical Advice The book offers practical advice for startups and entrepreneurs, including tips on leadership, innovation, and risk-taking. Weaknesses Lack of specific case studies While the book provides a wealth of information on Bezos' leadership principles and philosophy, it lacks specific case studies or examples of how these principles were applied in practice. Repetitive, some readers may find the book's repetition of key themes and ideas to be repetitive and unnecessary. Limited focus, the book's focus on Bezos' personal philosophy and experiences may limit its appeal to readers who are looking for a more comprehensive overview of Amazon's history and success. Amazon's Unshakable Philosophy In July 2020, Jeff Bezos testified before the U.S. Subcommittee on Antitrust, Commercial, and Administrative Law. In his testimony, he unfurled his personal journey and the driving principles behind Amazon's success. The essence of his speech provides us with fascinating insights into the mind of a pioneering business leader. Bezos recounts tales from his early life, from the grit of a young mother who pushed through adversity to pursue her education, to a father who, as a Cuban emigrant, embodied determination. These were the stories that instilled in him the importance of resilience, setting the stage for the formation of one of the world's most influential companies. Amazon's success story starts with its unshakable day one mentality. Bezos believes that every day should be treated with the energy and innovation of a company's first day, never letting complacency set in and always striving for better customer service and experience. This ethos fuels an unending quest for constant improvement and innovation, with the customer at the very heart. The ability to earn and maintain customer trust is the secret sauce, achieved through principled decisions and delivering on promises consistently. 
It's this relentless customer obsession that has propelled Amazon into the stratosphere of the retail industry. However, Amazon isn't a solo act. Bezos also spotlights the pivotal role third-party sellers play in the grand Amazonian scheme. He acknowledges their invaluable contribution to Amazon's growth and their role in sparking opportunities for countless small and medium-sized businesses across the globe. Bezos's testimony offers us actionable insights to inform our own pursuits. Firstly, adopting a customer-centric approach is essential for any successful enterprise. Continually improving and innovating with the customer's needs in mind fosters trust and loyalty. Secondly, partnering with and acknowledging the role of others in your success story can lead to significant growth opportunities. These are the golden threads that Bezos has woven into Amazon's story, and they hold invaluable lessons for anyone aspiring to large-scale business operations. Unraveling the Secret Threads of Amazon's Success Bezos' master plan for Amazon revolves around what he calls dreamy business offerings. These offerings have four distinctive traits, deep customer affection, immense scaling potential, fruitful capital returns, and steadfast durability. Let's explore four such offerings in Amazon's Arsenal, Marketplace, Prime, and Amazon Web Services, or AWS. Let's journey back to 2000, when Amazon was pioneering new business ideas with Marketplace. It was a journey that began with uncertainty, and initially grappled with less-than-stellar performances from Amazon Auctions and Z Shops. But with the introduction of Marketplace, Amazon struck gold. This was an innovative platform that allowed third-party sellers to compete toe-to-toe -to -toe with Amazon's products, rewriting the rules of the e-commerce game. Now, this humming online marketplace boasts over 40% of sales from an extensive network of 2 million third-party sellers worldwide. And there's a lesson here for all business owners out there, don't shy away from experimenting or even embracing initial failures. They can lead to transformative ideas, much like the marketplace was for Amazon. Next up, let's take a look at Amazon Prime. A decade ago, Prime was a risky bet. Bezos, however, had faith in the power of convenience, believing that customers would be attracted to fast, free shipping. And, as you probably know, it definitely paid off. Today, Prime is much more than a shipping service, morphing into a digital entertainment hub with offerings such as Prime Instant Video and original content. The evolution of Prime exemplifies another insight you can apply to your business, always keep an eye on the bigger picture. An offering may start with one unique value proposition, but be ready to evolve and expand to continually surprise and delight your customers. Lastly, we consider Amazon Web Services, or AWS. A game-changer when it was launched, it offered on-demand, pay-as-you-go cloud storage and compute resources. A radical departure from traditional IT, it quickly became a darling among startups, and even attracted larger enterprises. Today, AWS remains dedicated to constant innovation. The success of AWS underscores the importance of staying ahead of the curve and offering solutions that redefine industry norms. Looking ahead, Bezos is brimming with positivity about the intertwined growth of Marketplace and Prime, each amplifying the other. With its pioneering position, AWS is also poised for a future marked by ever-increasing success. These success stories shed light on the core pillars of Bezos's philosophy, a relentless drive for invention, commitment to operational excellence, and an unwavering focus on the long haul. These guiding principles, when woven into your own business, can lead you to your own version of dreamy business offerings, and ensure not just survival but a flourishing enterprise in an ever-evolving market landscape. Summary Jeff Bezos offers a window into his thinking through his interviews, speeches and letters to shareholders. Jeff Bezos, the world's richest man, is worth north of $100 billion. In this collection of interviews, speeches and letters to shareholders, Bezos analyzes his successes and setbacks. He proves he is a master at combining technical analysis with creative thinking. Those with an interest in business history will find that charting the evolution of Amazon from annual letter to annual letter is a fascinating exercise in constant self-invention, the Kirkus Reviews reported. The Washington Post wrote, the interview and speech excerpt section, contains flesh and blood details about the man and not just Amazon. Choices 
Bezos considered the theme of gifts and choices after excelling at Princeton, marrying and securing work at a New York financial firm. Cleverness is a gift. Kindness is a choice. By Jeff Bezos When Bezos saw the internet taking off, he hatched a plan to sell books online. He notes that his boss discouraged him from taking such a risk because he already had a cushy job. Bezos decided he would regret not pursuing his dream to build the world's largest bookstore by applying new technology to an old business model. Resilience Bezos offers a formative tale from his early life. The remote location of his grandfather's Texas ranch meant his grandpa had to improvise solutions to problems. In a freak accident, Bezos discloses, his grandfather caught his thumb in a ranch gate and stripped off the skin. Bezos' grandfather cast away the skin, nurses had to return to the ranch with him to look for the skin, so doctors could reattach it. The whole point of moving things forward is that you run into problems, failures, things that don't work. By Jeff Bezos Bezos sees the incident as an apt metaphor for building a business, failure is frequent, resilience is a requirement and adaptation is a must. Newspapers Bezos insists he never thought about owning a newspaper. But then Don Graham, owner of the Washington Post, told Bezos the Post didn't need a newspaper man, it needed an owner who understood the internet. Bezos says he decided to buy the Post because he sees it as an institution that is crucial to American democracy. Bezos breaks down how he changed the Post's focus to give it an international perspective. He explains that the Internet allows any publisher to distribute globally for free, whereas, before the Internet, papers didn't expand internationally due to prohibitive production costs, such as maintaining multiple, expensive international printing plants. But, Bezos happily details, the Internet delivers a national and international audience for the same cost as a local one. In its print heyday, the Post served a small group of readers and generated significant revenue per reader. After he changed the focus, it came to serve larger numbers of readers though it earns less money per customer. The strategy worked, and Bezos is proud that the Post became profitable. Missionaries Bezos characterizes missionaries as those who believe in the mission of their organization. Mercenaries, whom he reviles, labor for a paycheck and perks. That's why, Bezos makes clear, he doesn't use generous benefits to woo workers. We pay very competitive compensation at Amazon, but we have not created the kind of country club culture where you get free massages and whatever the perks of the moment are. By Jeff Bezos Regarding making decisions about acquisitions, Bezos shares that he first judges whether the founder of the company he's evaluating is a mercenary or a missionary. And, he underscores, missionaries make more money in the long run. Bezos cites Whole Foods founder John Mackey as exemplifying a business missionary because Mackey believes in making healthful food widely available. Decision-making Bezos concludes that decision-making becomes bureaucratic when leaders make the mistake of treating all decisions as equally important. He finds that only a few decisions are one-way doors, high-stakes moves that he can't easily reverse. For such choices, Bezos regards himself as his company's chief slowdown officer, making sure that Amazon arrives at major decisions deliberately and patiently only after analysis and debate. You do not want to make one-way door decisions quickly. By Jeff Bezos He counsels leaders to make lower-stakes two-way door decisions quickly and with a minimum of debate. Guidance Bezos offers brief principles in abundance, go to bed early and sleep eight hours. Be willing to wander and think in a non-linear way, don't fear failure, run big organizations as if they're small, focus obsessively on your customer, and avoid Me Too products by always embracing something different, as Amazon did by acquiring Whole Foods. Missionaries Bezos characterizes missionaries as those who believe in the mission of their organization. Mercenaries, whom he reviles, labor for a paycheck and perks. That's why, Bezos makes clear, he doesn't use generous benefits to woo workers. We pay very competitive compensation at Amazon, but we have not created the kind of country club culture where you get free massages and whatever the perks of the moment are. By Jeff Bezos Regarding making decisions about acquisitions, Bezos shares that he first judges whether the founder of the company he's evaluating is a mercenary or a missionary. And, he underscores, 
missionaries make more money in the long run. Bezos cites Whole Foods founder John Mackey as exemplifying a business missionary because Mackey believes in making healthful food widely available. Decision Making Bezos concludes that decision making becomes bureaucratic when leaders make the mistake of treating all decisions as equally important. He finds that only a few decisions are one way doors, high stakes moves that he can't easily reverse. For such choices, Bezos regards himself as his company's chief slowdown officer, making sure that Amazon arrives at major decisions deliberately and patiently only after analysis and debate. You do not want to make one way door decisions quickly. By Jeff Bezos. He counsels leaders to make lower stakes two way door decisions quickly and with a minimum of debate. Guidance Bezos offers brief principles in abundance go to bed early and sleep eight hours, be willing to wander and think in a non linear way, don't fear failure, run big organizations as if they're small, focus obsessively on your customer, and avoid Me Too products by always embracing something different, as Amazon did by acquiring Whole Foods. Conclusion Amazon's tremendous success is rooted in Jeff Bezos' personal journey, his unshakable day-one mentality, and a steadfast focus on the customer. Emphasizing the significant role of third-party sellers, adopting a progressive approach to environmental challenges, and constantly innovating their service offerings like Marketplace, Prime, and AWS have all been instrumental to Amazon's story. These insights underline the power of customer centricity, partnership, and continual innovation in driving enduring business success. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share. See you in next videos.